As you can see on those shots, uh, I got a very consistent chest trim. The thing that I wanted to point out is that you really don't need to pay a lot of attention now to the hammer spring uh, adjustment. There will be some adjustment that you need to do on the hammer spring, but nothing compared to what it was before, like this uh, finding the right balance between the regulator pressure and the hammer spring is gonna be taken care of for the valve automatically. With this new valve, uh, you will find your speed basically just by turning the, the regulator pressure. One thing that I want to clear out before we jump into the into the shot string is uh, this rifle is a Prophet 1 that was modified by RTI where they included the valve. The idea was for me to test the valve. I'm not being paid by RTI. This is not an sponsored video. I just wanted to share my knowledge. I've been using this, I, I would say since the beginning of the year and I have some feedback for them. The feedback is the valve really works, but I'm having a hard time to tune on the lower speeds. Uh, this is my RTI Compact and I'm shooting the Hades. There, those are 16 grains. Um, for them to be accurate, I'm shooting them ar around 885 feet per second. The valve gives a lot of power and it's very, it makes your gun very efficient but you will see when we go into the 800 uh, range uh, speed you will see that is the vault really wanted to the gun really wanted to go faster and i'm having a hard time tuning at those lower speed the good news is when i reported this back uh, rti told me that they know what they need to do now what they did i don't know but yeah i just want to point this out even when I'm big fan of the brand and not being sponsored by them uh, the only thing is they ask me do you want to help us testing and why not I will always have my honest feedback uh, and again my goal is to share with you the real news I'm not sugarcoating anything and I think it's working uh, with RTI because they are doing good changes in the platform with that out of the way, let's go ahead and see how you will use this new valve and what it can do. First step is to check that your hammer spring adjustment is flush with the gun. So with the depending on the regulator pressure that you have, and in this case I'm using a pressure of 130, um, what will happen is the, the gun will be in, in what is called valve lock. So this uh, adjustment in the hammer spring tension is not going to be enough to open the valve completely all right let's take the the first shot yeah it's easing what is uh, called a valve lock the hammer is not able to open the valve completely but this valve is designed to when it open it will close really quick the only thing that you need to to do is finding where this valve will open so this is the procedure i will just give a, a quarter turn on the hammer spring and try again still not getting the the valve to open so another quarter turn so i'm moving from quarter turn until i found that the gun is shooting Let's repeat that. So another quarter turn. 619. I think it needs another quarter turn. There you go. 995. Let's repeat that. 
997. Right, that is all that it takes on the hammer sprint tension. RTI recommends that when you find this spot, you will do another quarter turn. And I think this is in case you wanted to up the regulator, but I'm not following the recommendation. I found that this is gonna be good. Like the valve will behave exactly as I want it because I, I'm not really going up and down in the regulator too much. So I wanted to find the regulator that give me the speed. As you can see, I'm shooting at around 1,000 feet per second in the Hades. This is too much speed for those uh, pellets to be accurate. So what I will do right now is to reduce the regulator pressure and then repeat the procedure until I have in around 888. And here is where I've been struggling, going down in speed. If you go up, uh, the valve will behave better. Uh, I was told this valve uh, is more efficient between 120 and 150. So if you keep the valve, the regulator pressure in, in that range, the valve will be way more efficient. I was pushing this because my regulator is at around 85. I was pushing this to the extreme where is the pressure is uh, low. So that being said, I have now the gun in 130. Let's do a quick test. Let me put this regulator. Let me up uh, the regulator 140, see what it does. One thing is, remember that you can use this regulator up to 180. I mean 130 <laughs> and the Hades are flying at 1000 feet per second so this is just for the sake of testing so you can see uh, now that the valve open what can happen is this is what RTI maybe recommend to give it another quarter turn because you can go up a little bit and the valve will keep open but, but let's test I don't know what will happen but I'm in increasing yes I can do that I'm increasing the regulator pressure just a tiny bit Right, let's take a shot and see what is the, the chronograph uh, reading. 719. <laughs> That's why you need to follow directions. So they recommend another quarter turn. You need another quarter turn. So let's do that as they recommend. Another quarter turn. One thousand fourteen. One thousand seven. seven. All right. So I will leave you there. I really, I'm not really interested shooting this gun with this ammo at those speed. So my goal is now going down into the 880 so let's go ahead and do that first let's reduce the the regulator pressure to reduce the regulator pressure we just gonna remove the magazine and we're going to decrease so kind of clockwise just a little bit dry fire and see the regulator pressure uh, reducing Don't go too far when reducing the, the pressure on the regulator because you can damage the regulator. Remember, just a little bit at a time. I'm going less than a quarter ton. Really just easy so you don't build up the pressure inside. I think right now it's in around 100. Let's do this. Let's take a shot at that uh, pressure and you will see why I need to go under 100 bar. I will take a shot, okay? 926. So 926 is way over, way over 880. And I'm already at 100. So let, let's take a couple of shots so you can see the consistency. 928. 928. As you can see, I haven't modified at all the hammer spring, I just went down on pressure. 
923. I think this is good enough so you can understand what the flexibility that you can get out of this valve. As I say, this hammer spring was set for 130 on the pressure and I went down 30 volts. So what I will do when I, when I find my regulator pressure will be to cause the valve lock again and find the spot where the valve opened and then giving it another quarter turn as they suggested. So uh, let's keep uh, moving this uh, regulator down because I want it at around 80 and 90. So we still need to go down. So let's uh, see without touching the hammer spring where we are with this uh, pressure that I just said there. Eight hundred eighty-six. That's exactly what I what I was uh, looking like. Eight hundred ninety-three. Little bit high. Eight hundred ninety-three. All right. Eight hundred ninety-three. Eight hundred ninety-three. Let's take another shot. Eight hundred eighty-eight. Eight hundred eighty-eight. This is exactly the speed that I wanted. But you know, I knew exactly what the regulator pressure should be. So let's do this. I will <clears throat> probably go down just a little bit on hammer spring. Let me show you what I'm doing here on the camera. But uh, as you can see, it, this gun is still very consistent, even when the hammer spring was set with a, with a pressure that is 130. I think what really matters is this valve needs to open. So this might not be needed, but I'm afraid that I'm wasting air with too much hammer here because as I, as I explained the valve is not closing fast enough because the pressure in the regulator now is low so this is the way that I tune for lower speed I'm maximizing air right I don't want to waste air um, I will basically go back until I'm flush around here maybe I went too much but that's fine until I'm flush the, what I'm looking here is the valve lock again so let me see if I if I can shoot and basically the valve is not open. Let's try that. 884. Oh, it is opening and it did 884. Let's take another one. 884. 884. You can see this how consistent this valve is let me put this here on frame all right let's take a few shots 879 877 875 yeah i'm getting 875 i will the only thing i will do now will be increasing I will give it one a quarter turn from where it is because I think it's really far back and I didn't cause a um, lock, valve lock because in the, as I mentioned, the, the regulator pressure is too low for the valve. So what I will do is uh, just give it one quarter, maybe two quarter, maybe half a turn as a safety measure, I will give it a, a, just a half a turn this time because right now I think it's when it is really flush here. So let's, let's take some shots and see where are we with the speed. 884. Boy, this gun is shooting at 884 with this pressure. 881. 881. 800. 881. 881. I run out of pellet. So, using my magazine. If you haven't tried this, you should. I'm just saying that. You have a link on the video description, by the way. 886. 891. I think I will leave it exactly as it is. All right, let's wrap up. All right, as I hope you could see the valve 
makes the, the gun very consistent and I think it's the main update that you will get on the Prophet 2 and I'm really happy with the, this system it makes tuning something very simple anyone can do basically just knowing how to go up and down in the regulator pressure and what to look in the valve lock at some point it would be just a matter of knowing what pressure your ammo wants turn into the pressure as I did coming down from 130 and finding that sweet spot if this uh, video have been useful if you find anything that I missed please leave me a comment below because your comments really help me understanding what I can do better um, or also what the next video should be as always be safe and see you next bye